Oi, welcome back to another video on the channel. Back on Rugby 23, we are currently in Early Access 2. This is Interim Update number 1. A uh, slight delay to this update, I believe it was supposed to go live last week, but it got pulled back, so here we are. Now in the background, this is like game or attempt game number 2 or 3, and unfortunately my experience in this current build has again been pretty disappointing uh, for the fact that I've been getting crashes so I can't actually get through a whole 14 minute game uh, that's not because of how bad it is but it's, I keep crashing so uh, thus is the result of I guess a game being in early access you update things here and there once it goes live things break and then you gotta fix that something else breaks and it goes on and on and on it's not all negative, that part sucks, but we're going to go ahead and take a look at what they said in the patch notes for this minor update. So adjusted passing, work on passing in this update included adjusting pass timing windows to improve the ability to pass when about to be tackled, as well as continuing to work on pass trajectories and animations. Additionally, resolved some cases of player target indicators not being visible. That last part just feels exactly the same. Um, I'm still not getting prompts. Especially when I'm playing on the behind camera. I did try a game on side view, but I hate playing on that view. And I feel like it does show more on that particular angle. I don't know how people can play on any other angle than the behind. I just like actually seeing the spaces between players and I seeing where I'm kicking is the most important part for behind. I'm gonna stay on this first bullet point here, the passing as it is a major focus in this little minor update. And with the gameplay in the background, I wanted to kind of highlight the improvements made because there are improvements especially to targeted passing so again that's why you'll see plenty of uh, examples of targeted passing in this gameplay video for the normal passing just tapping the pass button i'm still having like slight delays so we're not actually getting the passes away it's the same with trying to punt and trying to grab the general play kicking as a whole needs way more attention now than the passing does uh, it's been like that since the game dropped to be fair I'd love if they could focus on both the passing and kicking at the same time because kicking is just as important as passing is in rugby. I have been seeing requests for the rugby 22 style passing and I'm not gonna lie, I, I did not like the way they handled passing in that game. It feels like a lottery. You, If you don't know how it worked in that game, you just tap it to pass short, hold it to throw a cutout pass, but I like the, uh, the targeted passing. I'm surprised that they haven't nailed targeted passing given they have it in all their league games but yeah with this style of passing there's more intent in attack you can actually control where you want the ball to go you know it's actually surprised people would prefer the old uh, rugby 22 style uh, they even had it in rugby challenge of this but it wasn't as defined you know it's in rough shape at the moment but once they suss out their player positions on the field spacing and having players run onto the ball you could essentially create quote unquote set plays on the fly it's just the spacing that needs a lot of work the player positions i believe aren't they aren't focusing on all too much at the moment that's why you're seeing like the back rowers and props kicking the ball and whatnot once they suss out all that stuff and further tune the trajectory of passes and that the speed of passes i have no doubt the attack will feel seamless you can kind of at the moment get players running onto the ball right now and you can either hit them or use them as decoys but yeah for the most part the passing still a bit rough but there are improvements compared to how it was at the start of early access 2 with the defense just suffocating you it's actually big improvements the last time we were talking about this game uh, <laughs> there were so many pick and goes now you'll see a lot of targeted passing as for the rest of the patch notes the next point they made was Moors added more control prompts, more feedback during mores for inputs has been added to assist in learning the more controls. So, so the mall in its current state is pretty simple. You just add place to the mall and you drive. That is essentially it. Um, as for how it functions, what I do is I just add them in and then I just tap the right trigger as they're being added into it. I don't know if that's how it actually works, but in attack, I can use it effectively in defense as well. But when it comes to the AI, the board does seem to get stuck a fair bit. It'd be nice to see like little indicators if you do actually have to tap to drive it like how you do in the scrum. Right now it just pops up with RT to drive. It doesn't say whether to tap it or to hold it. Uh, we should get a mall coming up pretty soon here. I said they'd clear it so we do go for malls every time we uh, hit the line out just to see if the improvements are noticeable. 
And as we hit the line out here, um, what I'm noticing now is that the HUD did disappear. This has probably been the biggest gripe for mine. Usually when the HUD disappears, the game crashes not long after. What I'm doing right now in this mall is I'm adding players and I'm just tapping it as the players get added. And looking at the shift here, we're just trying to nail some smooth consecutive passing. And yeah, as you can see, it's way better than it was before. Coming up to the last two uh, points in the patch notes, we have improved cameras. And it says a few issues with certain stadiums having camera clips during lineouts and other set pieces have been addressed. Now, I'm not too sure if it's a behind camera issue. Playing on the behind camera, I haven't actually seen many like bugs or issues with it. What I will say though was playing on side back in the day on League Life 4, there was an issue with side camera angles and small uh, rectangular stadiums, I think it was. Sometimes the top part of the stadium would like block your screen. It always happened with those small stadiums in uh, the UK that were in the game. Unfortunately for the people that play League Life 4, that never got addressed, so that's still in the game. It's still crazy to me that that game only saw two post-launch updates, man. And then again, not too surprising given HES's track record and where gaming was at that point in time. 2017, I think that was before Fortnite was quote-unquote a thing and live service games and regular updates were a thing, especially on console. Uh, they literally changed the game. But luckily for us here, we're in early access, so that can get fixed. And it's looking like they did address that in this little patch. It's crazy to think, uh, if Fortnite didn't actually boom, would we even get a rugby game in early access? How long was bloody Fortnite in early access for? What was it, multiple years, multiple seasons, chapters, until they were out of their little early access phase? I say that loosely. I'm not saying that to expect the same thing with Rugby 24, by the way. Our guide for progression during these early access phases is the tennis game. And like I said in the previous video we made about the game, they are currently in Early Access 7, so there is plenty to come. Obviously, honestly, we haven't even scratched the surface when it comes to gameplay and rugby. They are still trying to get the passing down pat, and uh, as you can see in the gameplay, it's actually improved a lot. Anyway, I do digress. Didn't mean to go on that little Fortnite tangent. Let's get to the topic at hand here, and the last point in the patch notes. Several issues with set pieces resulting in non-progression in the game have been identified and resolved. Unfortunately for me, as we come up to that point in the game where I do crash, it is still an issue for me. As for the cause for the crashes, I'm actually not too sure. When I play these games, I do like to pre-press button combinations. I feel like every time I do pre-time passes and whatnot, the game does break for some weird reason. But yeah, overall, my thoughts on this little interim update. The improved passing is a dub, everything else is kind of mid. I'm hoping to see more improvements to general play kicking, as it looks like it hasn't been touched uh, since the game dropped in early access. And that about wraps up this little video here. Those are my thoughts on where the game's at at the moment. It's baby steps, but we're seeing improvements. That's what we want to see. We are going to call it there. As always, if you did enjoy that, to be sure to run straight at the like button. And for more rugby-related content, or more content in general, go ahead and drop your boy a cheeky sub. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you later.